Are you a homeowner or a renter? Homeowner. Um, what is your fam- the type of the structure? Is it like a single family house, a multi town home? Single family dwelling home. And do you know the date you approximately moved in? Or the year? Yes, uh, 4 2019. Oh, I'm sorry. 2009. 2009. Yeah. Um, so have you always lived in Augusta? No. Okay. Um, how did you end up in Augusta? Uh, well, when I retired from the Marine Corps, I came back to Augusta because my family moved here. Okay. So for me, I've always lived in Augusta. It's where I was born and raised. <laughs> um, could you tell me what kind of home you lived in? I know we just asked that question, but... Single family dwelling. Uh, So, have you ever invested in solar energy, either rooftop for your home, on your property, or as part of your business, or as a program through your unit? No, I have not. Um, So, why do you not have rooftop solar? Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Uh, I just made that decision. Uh, I really haven't done too much research on it. So, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Could you tell me why or why not? I would look into it, and if it was feasible and uh, I could see the payoff being well worth it, I would do it. So, I'd like to take a bit to talk about rooftop solar in general. Um, So, I'm going to give you this map right here of the United States. If you could take this pen and draw where you think, either put an X or a circle, where you think solar is mostly adopted in the country. How many places do you want me to pick? As many as you think. So why do you think these certain areas differ from the rest of the country? Well, mainly because the climates are warm and they have a lot of sunlight in them. Uh, and, it, and the temperatures are probably pretty much the same in uh, these areas. For example, like Florida is always sunny for the most part. And so is California and Hawaii is pretty much the same temperature year round. If you go somewhere like Washington State, it's kind of gloomy, so it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be as effective. Okay. Um, why do you think people here have the most solar on their rooftops? Because we have the most sunlight, the most heat, the most uh, just natural sunlight. You know, it's not gloomy and cloudy all the time. Um, so we're going to do the same thing again, but with the state of Georgia this time. So, if you can just go in, circle, put an X, wherever you think that counties in Georgia have the most solar rooftop. The most counties. Yeah, that's what I think. So, mostly the coast side? Yeah, I think mostly the coast side, and probably down more so near Florida area, will be, uh, have more. And I don't think they really have too much in the city because this is more city area up here, and this is more rural. Okay. Well, that answered the next question I was about to ask you. So, um, yeah. So, what about, um, so, what about your close friends in the state? Do they have rooftop solar that you know of? No, not that I know of. So, if you don't mind, we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk sure. about, um, your day-to-day life with food. Okay. So, if you will, please tell me about your regular day with food, what your meals and snacks typically look like. Uh, normally, I have a breakfast, and then normally uh, I have a couple of snacks and a lunch and a dinner, and sometimes I'll have an after-dinner snack. Okay. Um, so, for me, it's normally... I don't eat breakfast. I'll get eat something at the house for lunch or go out and get something. And then we have, like, a big meal for dinner as a whole family. So could you tell me what your go-to meal is and why? I think the go-to meal for me is breakfast because that's where you get your boost of energy for the day to keep you actually going. Okay. I'll get you going. Um, so how often do you cook your own meals? I uh, cook my own meals at least five times a week. It's very different from the <laughs> what I've heard a lot of people. Um, a lot of people go out all the time. All the time. Yeah. 
So, could you, are you the one in your household who makes the decisions about food that you purchase for your household? No, it's actually a joint effort between me and my wife. That's interesting. Normally, like, in our house, it's mama goes out and buys whatever, <laughs> and then we just eat what she cooks. <laughs> um, so, how often do you purchase food for your household? Typically about twice a month. Um, so, paint this picture for me. Let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like? Uh, we're going to have our normal stuff, such as our bread, cheese, eggs, milk, meats, um, salads, uh, and any other miscellaneous things that we normally would eat. Or sometimes, you know, you have a lot of new products that come out you want to try, too. So, uh, it just kind of varies. Um, so when it comes to feeding your family, what are some challenges you face? For example, in our family, we have picky eaters, so not everybody eats everything. Uh, well, I mean, in, in my in my family, is, we're, we're picky eaters, too, on a lot of different things. But certain things, if we know we don't like, we just don't buy it. Um, you know, we just kind of, sometimes you may end up being in a grocery store longer than what you want because you have to kind of look and see what things have in it or, you know, uh, <laughs> just the changes that they made. 